So let's get on to Zoom now and speak to Abdul Wadud Mohammed. He's communications director for the LGBTQ plus uh, rights Ghana. And he's joined us via Zoom. Abdul, welcome to the bulletin. Hello, Abdul, if you can unmute, it's difficult to hear you. So kindly yes, unmute. Yes. So, great. It's, it's good now. Yeah, thank you very much. And good afternoon to you too and your viewers as well. So quick one, uh, is the organization behind the billboards we are seeing in town? Yes, yes, very much so. We and, did. And what's the rationale behind these billboards? Well, if you look at the billboards, we actually mounted three billboards, uh, one in Accra, one in Kumasi, and then one in Tamale. Now, when you look at the messaging on the billboards, I don't know why um, the, the coalition and the MPs are agitating about uh, it and all of that. But then the messaging is very clear. We are just uh, putting out a message of solidarity and, and love to the Ghanaian community. So I don't know why they are so concentrated on, on something that is really not threatening at all. Well, they have likened it. I mean, if you listen to Honorable Sam George, he's likened this to uh, promoting terrorism and then money laundering because he believes that the reason for which you have mounted this billboard is something that is frowned upon in, in the country. So he's calling on city authorities to within 24 hours and the IGP pull down those billboards. How do you respond to that? Well, you can also read. I'm pretty sure <laughs> a lot of Ghanaians are literate enough to read what is on the billboard. And if it's, uh, if it's very legal in any way, then we are actually open to uh, um, uh, legal actions. But I don't know why they are threatening uh, the MCE, they are threatening the uh, police, and they are giving them ultimatums of 24 hours. If they do believe that they are going, we are against, the, uh, we've gone against the constitution, then they should take us to court. That is what we want. They should take us to court. Then the court of the land would actually show if indeed we are doing something legal. But then you can read the message. The, the point of the billboard is the message, not uh, the propaganda that the proponents of the bill are saying. And if they indeed care very much, we are open to sitting down with them for them to know exactly what we are for. And even if you read the message of the billboard that they were standing on, it literally says, when all Ghanaians are treated equal, no matter where they are or who they love, that's true freedom. Are we not Ghanaians? This is all Ghanaians. We didn't say when all gay Ghanaians or all queer Ghanaians. We said all Ghanaians. So I don't know why, unless, of course, they are trying to say they are against Ghanaians loving each other, then I don't know how that work, works out. I don't know. But then also, um, just as they said that they are going to, uh, the police said they sent a, a letter to the MC, we are equally going to send a letter to the MC and the police as well. And any person who damages the, the billboard, we are really well within our rights to sue as well. So we are also looking at going into legal actions in case something is, somebody damages the billboard. Because we are Ghanaians, we use our very own money to do it. We pay taxes on them, which currently is being used by the government. So we are doing our mandate as citizens. So I don't see why any person will say we are against the constitution of Ghana. So this is not any attempt to basically rub it in the face of Ghanaians and uh, basically promote LGBTQI uh, plus activities? Is that what you're saying? I am sorry, but then again, when you look at the billboard, it literally says we are all Ghana. And it mentions Ghanaians. I don't see why they pinpoint pointed to LGBT. Or is it because it's coming from LGBT rights? I don't see why we can't give solidarity message to general Ghanaian populations. Unless, I don't know. I don't know. They, they should let us know. We are open to knowing. No, because know clearly, clearly we, we, we are seeing colors being used in this, uh, on these billboards. And these are connotative, basically, of the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, you can't deny that, can you? The very same coalition are saying the rainbow colors is from God himself. So are they now saying that the rainbow colors are not from God anymore? No, or but you can't deny that, that that's what represents the LGBTQ plus community. But then also they are the same people who say it represents the mercies and glories of God. So we are glorifying God as well. We are not, we are not uh, refusing the fact that we, are, we as LGBT Ghanaians deserve respect in the country that we were born in. The culture they keep talking about, we were groomed in the same culture. We were socialized in the same culture. So I don't see why they would say something like that. Like, why are you trying actively to um, sideline Ghanaians in the sort, in the same Ghanaians? And of, of course, the colors, they are the same people with the churches who said it's from God. And we are using the same colors that is from God to glorify God and also to give Ghanaian solidarity messages. Or they are against God now. I just want to ask. I don't know.
So as it stands now, there is a bill currently before Parliament, for which reason we have yeah. proponents like Sam George and Moses Fuamwenin, the uh, Member of Parliament for South Dine, all campaigning for that law to be promulgated to basically put a cap on the activities of LGBTQI plus uh, people in the country. So isn't this a, in response to that, uh, the bill before Parliament and also a way of you making your point now that you've admitted that you are behind these billboards? Well, uh, I would like to say that, of course, in the past few years, if you go to like the media archives from, you know, the Ghanaian uh, society, you would see that a lot of times Moses Farmanin has gone on a whole lot of rants about the LGBT spirit lies and all of that. And we've been seeing it. Like we just said that we, we, we are just living our lives normally. And then he goes around and spew all these lies and facts about, you know, it's just not facts, non facts about queer people. And it's really quite disturbing because at the end of the day, we are the same people who get uh, the end of the stick where the general Ghanaian populace are misinformed and then we end up being the ones brutalized, not him. So we found it very, very important to let Ghanaians understand that whatever is being propagated is wrong and then it's time for them to listen because we are also Ghanaians as well. So they would have to listen to us. We are not going to be silent anymore. And if the, they, and of course, uh, uh, a lot of things that we do now not bill specifically, we are also against the bill because the bill is seeking to criminalize our very existence. So we have to be against it. And the bill is actually against the constitution because we are Ghanaians and the Ghanaian constitution affords us the rights to live, the right to choice, the right to freedom, the right to associate. Unless, of course, they are telling us that our association poses a national threat to the Ghanaian community then I don't know what it is because our we've been existing for years, eons with Ghanaians, and there hasn't been any threats. So what exactly are we doing that is of national importance and security that they would call an IGP? And even the billboard, I, I'm, I am so sorry. This is so performative. Of them. It's just a billboard. There are billboards for alcohol. There are billboards for condoms and all of that. And then there are the same persons who are against that because they, they said they are protecting children. But these same children, see the, they see the billboards for alcohol, they see the billboards for condoms. What are they doing about those ones as well? So, Abdul, as it stands now, you say you're also going to write to the IGP and to the NC against the pulling down of yes, any of yes, the billboards. Yes, we are. We are also going to write a press release, just like we did last year, we, about the closure. We are going to write a press release uh, because we've seen that the, uh, the coalition and, and the MPs have started spewing all the usual lies to Ghanaians as well. And then we will put out the press statements. We will send a letter to the NCE. We will send a letter to the IGP. And if he calls us to come and meet, we will go and meet him. Mm. But uh, have you been heard by the committee uh, in Parliament, the Constitutional Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee so far? We sent in memos. We, we sent in memos from LGBT rights, and we weren't invited. We, we are still waiting for, for the first to be called. The but committee we has invited, not called you. Nobody's talking about it. No, we've not been invited to, to come and uh, uh, talk about the, the memos that we sent. Before, for some reason, it has been silent on that. So, so we... We, I don't know. And that we actually did hear some rumors that uh, the, uh, uh, some judge was saying that we, we, we have corrupted the, 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 the chairman and everything. You can see it's on the records. We, we have not been invited. We've not been heard. So all these lies are just spewing. It's surprising to us. And we are waiting for the chairman to call us on our memo that we sent. Abdul, we're grateful for your time. That's Abdul Wadud Mohammed. He's communications director for the LGBTQI plus rights uh, Ghana.